Um, the quadratic formula is not always the best. So anyways, guys, since we know this is a factor, I can go ahead and set up synthetic division. I'm going to set x plus 2 equals 0, get negative 2. I go ahead and use my descending powers, make sure I have my coefficients. I have 1, negative 1, negative 7, negative 2. You guys are OK if I go a little bit faster with the synthetic division. Looks like everybody almost got it. Negative 3 times, I'm sorry, bring down the 1. 1 times negative 2 is negative 2. Add on the verticals, negative 1 plus negative 2 is negative 3. Negative 3 times negative 2 is going to be a positive 6. Negative 7 plus 6 is going to be negative 1. Negative 1 times 2 is going to be a positive 2. Remainder 0, which Erica said, right? Good job, Erica. So we have a remainder, constant, linear, um, quadratic. So again, I wanted to say find all the remaining um, factors. So if I need to find all the remaining factors, I guess should, I should have said this. Linear factors. Um, so now what I need to do is I see that I have x squared minus 3x. Actually, I'll just move this over here. x squared minus 3x minus 1. Well, what two numbers multiply to give you negative 1 and to give you 3? Uh oh, that's not going to work. Now, so to find the factors here, I'm actually going to want to find the zeros. So what I'll do here is I'll use quadratic formula, 3 plus or minus square root of negative 3 squared minus 4 times a times c, all divided by 2 times 1, which is just 2, 3 plus or minus, let's see, it's 9 plus 9 minus or 9 plus 4, which is 13, correct, over 2. So if these are my two zeros, guys, if I give you the zeros, can you go back and write the, them as factors? Right? Just think of like your zeros and then setting them equal to zero. So my factors, my remaining factors, is I can basically rewrite this equation as y equals, or find the remaining factors, so y equals x plus 2. And then this is going to be 3. Um, x minus 3 plus the square root of 13 over 2, and x minus 3 minus the square root of 13 over 2. Those would be my two remaining factors based because of uh, the quadratic formula. So I mean, I didn't really say write it as a linear factorization. I said find the remaining factors. So, but those would be, that's just another way to write 